Have you ever wondered how one man's tax troubles could make headlines alongside Bitcoin's surging value? Let me tell you a tale that intertwines both intriguing stories. Neat Michael Saylor, the charismatic chairman of MicroStrategy, a renowned business intelligence software company and a passionate Bitcoin advocate. But recently Michael found himself entangled in a legal web. According to reports, he faced allegations of tax evasion amounting to over $25 million in Washington, D.C. From Bitcoin bull to tax troubles, in August 2022 brought forth shocking news when the Attorney General's office in Washington, D.C. claimed Michael had, quote, knowingly evaded tax payments. He refuted these claims, insisting he was indeed a Florida resident. Yet, history was made with this record-breaking settlement worth $40 million the largest income tax recovery in D.C.'s history. Despite the controversy, neither Michael nor their microstrivy admit any wrongdoing. Uh, wealthy influentials held accountable, and D.C. Attorney General Brian O. Schwab stressed the significance of this case, asserting that no individual, regardless of wealth or influence, can escape the law's reach. Interestingly, Michael have publicly boasted about his supposed tax evasions encouraging others to do the same. This landmark settlement served as a powerful reminder that everyone must answer to their financial responsibilities. Now let's shift gears towards the world of Bitcoin. With Michael being such a fervent supporter, it's only natural we explore his role in the crypto realm. Since MicroStrategy started investing in Bitcoin to protect against inflation, the value of their holdings skyrocketed to around $13.5 billion. During Q1 alone, they added another 25,250 Bitcoins to their staff, reaching a total of 214,400. Saylor's strategic Bitcoin buying. Um, Jeff Dorman, CIO of Arco, uh, described Michael's approach as selling stocks or debt to purchase Bitcoin uh, as Bitcoin's value rose. So did MicroStrategy's stock price, enabling them to sell uh, more shares or debts. Um, and, and continue the cycle. And so there you have it. A captivating blend of Bitcoin's meteoric rise and Michael Saylor's unexpected tax woes. And now just as a little pick-me-up, after all that seriousness, here's a quick joke. Why don't ghosts need to file taxes? because they're always haunting the past. With that said, thank you for joining me on this journey, and until next time,